everyone, it's Kelly and I have a couple projects that I want to share for you that I have been working on and if you um, want to ask any questions at the end you can. I'm sorry there's a glare with my light but I've been working on some layouts there maybe that'll, do, that'll work. I've been working on some layouts of my daughter in her birthday party last year and I'm catching up from my photos last year so it's been long overdue but <clears throat> um, these are from a year ago so I had shown this in a previous video before but I had more pictures than this and so what I had done was I created <clears throat> a dual layout and I don't know if you guys are familiar with flip flaps but these are flaps that you can add to your pages and they're from Creative Memories. I'm going to try to back up and show you. They look like this. No, I'm sorry, it's not Creative Memories, it's um, close to my heart. And I have a local consultant and I get them from her and I actually haven't bought them for a while so I don't know if they still carry them but I'm going to show you anyways. They look like this and this adhesive comes off and you adhere it to the inside of your album and then you can make an extra flap and I had so many pictures so that's what I did. I created an extra flap here and so then it opens up and then you see a flap here so um, yeah it works out really well and this is what I've done here and then over here and then um, this one opens up and it looks like this. So I will show you a little bit of each layout that I have done. This one here was pretty basic. I layered the photos on top and I added some peace signs and the girls only. That was from Creative Memories. Um, they, for their project, they melted crayons down into a silicone form and I'll show you that. And um, that was something we got off of Pinterest, but I found these really cool crayon um, uh, borders, so I used those. And then the flap opens, and then here again, this was a birthday balloon and a bouquet flowers that she got for her birthday, and I just put Molly and added some birthday stickers down here. There's a birthday sticker, a balloon, some hats. And then here is the uh, bow, and then it says happy here. And then over here was the layout that I did. And I kind of did this as a sort of separate, it's not a full layout. I took each photo and I made it into like a little block. So here's a block. It says play, fun, smile. And it has Jolie's happy birthday balloons. Here was another block here was another block and then here was another block and then I used this little uh, die cut that says Royal Proclamation Celebration and I put party planning on February 15th 2012 for a birthday it was a year ago and then this little block says princess so then over here um, this layout I made kind of similar with the peace signs and the zebra print and then I put party like a rock star and I added some bling and then I added some of the photos down here of her opening her gifts and these were their treat bags and then I added some more bling here with a little bit of a, a scallop then you open it up here this layout is of all the creations these were the crayons before here and here and then this is the silicone uh, um, mold that we used and then these are the like really cool tie-dye crayons that we made. And then I had these Crayola stickers from the Crayola factory. And then I added um, the number 10 in Brad's down here. And I put like crayon. And then um, just a couple little things down here. And then over here the girls were outside playing. So I found these really cute little um, die cuts of, of little girls. And then I added this uh, border up here with just a little bit of trim and some little doodads and buttons and such. And then down at the bottom I added these cute little girl 
die cuts. So pretty simple, nothing really um, fancy. So there's nothing on the back there. That's all that I have to show you, but check out the flip flaps. Um, I'm going to look that up too to make sure that they still sell them, but if you know anyone that sells close to my heart or if you're interested in the flip flaps, let me know and I will um, get in contact with her because they are really awesome and I always need extra pages, but I don't want to add full 12 by 12s. So. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll be back with another video of a small um, project. So thanks for watching. Bye.